Hello everyone, welcome back to more Cinco Baos. Heading into our eighth Togo here. So far so good, I have to say. Uh, I don't like the looks of this. Right? I'm going to be surrounded in a sec. Hmm. If I walk west and try attacking the lizard, the phantom gets to attack me as well as the lizard. I'll take three damage doing that. That's just horrible. Well, there's not a good way to get, like... much wiggle room is there like i can move north and then west there's some chance the phantom moves here and gets in the lizard's way that would be nice didn't happen okay i mean that's something i hate it but like i think i just have to blast this guy in the face oh good more lizards that's why you're not supposed to do this at least it damaged him this is too good an opportunity not to use, even though I'm probably getting hit by the lizard here. Hitting four enemies teaches you a lot. Okay. It, it, it acabarred the lizard, and it made the phantom my friend. That's pretty nice. And I... I I don't think I actually have to do this here. I can take one damage to finish this guy off. But then this guy's going to be on me, so like I might as well give it a shot. It It's lethal to lizards and also he went to sleep. Okay. Still a pretty bad start. And now I'm pinioned here, right? I could take two more damage to get out of the floor safely-ish, but I might as well fire off a wand first, I think. Great! It made a wall, so I'm not getting double teamed. Picking up the treasure is whatever. Let's see if this is a reflexive lizard killer? No. But... It recharges another wand when it hits the ceiling. Okay. Well, I'll take one damage, I guess. I'll fuck two damage because of the corpses. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm at, I'm at three. It, it could be worse. And I have a door moving spell, which can let me start collecting keys again, right? I guess it hadn't occurred to me that where you place the exit on the previous level affects where you spawn on the next. So do I really want to spawn in the bottom left corner? No, not really. So I probably should not put the, the door there in future. So it copied the lizard, but it doesn't always copy things. Sometimes it doesn't. I don't understand that. Something I'm not... Oh. <laughs> I was thinking about how I might st steal the treasure without picking up the key. There are multiple reasons that doesn't work. One is... I was, well, I was thinking, oh, I'll come over here, and I'll shoot behind it to put the, wall, the, the exit back here. There's a lot of reasons that doesn't work. One is, this is going to pick up the treasure on the way. Oh, but that's fine. If I, if I end up moving the door back there, then it'll still be a redundant wall, or the, the wall will have to open for me, whether I pick up the treasure or not. So that's fine. 
But I don't think rays normally go through... Um, they normally don't go through walls. I believe that includes locked doors, but I'm not sure. Maybe it doesn't, because what good would this really be if it couldn't go through locked thingies, right? So, maybe. Um, I'm going to just take one damage and Akabar this guy. I know, really, I'm Akabiting him or something, right? Ak get Ak Akabado. You're dead now. I made a shrimp. Do I want that? Not really. I guess it's fine, though. I can kill this lizard. Ooh. Oh, I have, I have, I've, I've seen this one once before. That's actually a way around this, so I don't have to pick up the key. Wow. Okay. This isn't looking so bad here, but I want to use it to copy the key if I can. I think I just take another damage here. Feels really bad. But what else am I supposed to do? Like, I can recharge this wand and kill a lizard with it, but... To do that, I'd have to take damage from this guy anyway, right? Make sure to back up. Don't fight him on that territory, or he'll heal again. And we're like, hey, what? There wasn't any blood there. Was there? Am I stupid? Am I dead? I thought I backed up and made sure I wasn't on a tile with blood, but... It's hard to tell, I guess. And it doesn't show you when you, like, right? You have to parse it out from... Ugh. Okay. Well, right. This won't make a wall. We learned that already. If you're not allowed... I, I found out what happens when you try to use a wall to block yourself off. It just doesn't happen. So that wouldn't protect me. I intentionally backed up so he wasn't on a corpse, but I got it wrong. Well, maybe this will kill him or do something useful anyway. Yes, put him to sleep, and now I can kill him. Okay, not dead yet. It is tempting to use this to to try to use this to steal the treasure. You know what? If I have to no. I want to say like I'm I'm not in great shape here. I'm at 2. I don't want to pour all my resources into duplicating treasures and then get killed by a frog i'd rather have this available for the next zone so let's just copy this key oh it also picks up treasure isn't that lovely See you later. Oh, what did I identify, by the way? When I picked up that book. I think it was that this is reflexive, which I didn't know before. Yeah. Okay. Hmm.
I'm tempted to make the frog my friend. But I have some stuff like Akabar that could finish him off without it. That would be nice. Put this guy to sleep and take away his healing powers is also desirable. Although, you know, it would be nice to aim this up so I can recharge a wand. What is even going to happen if I hit a phantom with this wand? It's going to... Oh, I was getting confused with this one. It'll copy him and then kill the cop, kill him, but not the copy. So it doesn't seem that great. Uh, I mean, this kills a lizard. I'd rather kill this one, maybe? Get him lined up. Yeah, okay. So I think I think I think I put this guy to sleep. And then he's like dealt with. And then I'd like to stall for a turn and shoot south, except I can't because of this idiot. Well, maybe I just befriend this guy, but then that's my frog killer. Hmm. Could put a wall here so that I'm not getting two on one, maybe? Oh, or I could try and see if picking up treasure through walls works. I think it would. I don't think it's a good idea though, because then I do get two for two on one. Then I'd rather just not have that happen. So let's make a wall over here. Yeah. And now let's kill both of these guys, right? Oh, except I want to make sure I also get the frog so that he's damaged and can be killed. Because I don't want to hit him with this, which is going to damage him, yes, but also copy him. Okay, yes, this is what I wanted. Well, what the heck was that? Did I? Did I like lose a treasure? It looked like a treasure came up from the screen or something. I'll have to check the footage, I guess. Or an artifact. Something weird happened when I aimed at that guy. I'm not totally sure what it was. Ugh, if I walk south, I'll take damage. If I aim this south, I can pass a turn, but then how exactly am I finishing off the phantom, right? I think I take the damage. This is going to make a shrimp. Am I okay with that? Sort of. I'd rather that that not happen, though. Okay, great. This is the treasure I'd like to copy, by the way. Um, except I don't know that I can. Because I'd have to be standing here to copy it, and I don't think it can copy onto the same square you're on. I 
I might have to skip the treasure, honestly. You know what? Let's see if this works. No, you're not allowed to do that, okay? I don't know if I'm going to have time to go back up there with this frog showing up, right? Like, I don't even have time to leave, right? I'm going to take a damage on the way out and then die? I shouldn't have gone for that key. If I'd been counting turns, I would know how long till this frog appears, but... Okay, I mean, maybe this is lethal to frogs, this middle one? Because if I, if I just try to <clears throat> bash my way through this guy, I will die. He won't attack me, but he will, right? Oh, maybe that's not true. Maybe I can build some extra distance. Get him to chase me down here. Because right now there's enough room. Like, if the frog were right here, I could bop him twice. Sorry, if the lizard were here, I could bop him twice and walk out. There's plenty of time. I have a turn to spare. The problem is that walking north is walking towards the frog and takes away two of my turns. So if I can convince the frog to let me get out some other way. Nope, didn't work. Now, I know this can... This is going to copy the frog. And then I can kill one of them. Can I get the frog into a place where I don't care about the copy, maybe? I don't think so. I can just fire both of these wands at him and see if one of them kills frogs. If not, I'm dead. I don't really see any other plan. Because if I shoot this one to damage him and then this one to execute him, there will be too many frogs. So I want to shoot first the one that won't copy him. Made a shrimp. Okay, whatever. Don't care. Didn't kill the frog. I died. Hmm, sad. Yeah, I didn't uh, consider how dangerous running for that key was. And, like, I don't think I've ever not uh, collected all the treasure on the floor. Except for when I, like, polymorphed the key into something else or whatever. That's something you definitely should sometimes do, is run away from... Like, this. I was not doing well this run. You know, running away with less than all the treasure is a thing I should have considered. But, like, oh, it's, it's a potion. I want the potion, right? I don't know. There's a bunch of stuff you're supposed to... This game... Let's talk some about game design. I'm, I'm not a game designer, right? <clears throat> Michael Bro, or whatever his name is, is. And he's made a game that I enjoy, you know, so in some sense, who am I to criticize? But there's a few things about this game that I'm not a fan of. Um... <clears throat> Namely, that, like, to play optimally, you should track so many things. And there's no help for you to track them in the game. Right? Like, it, yes, it tracks effects you've seen. Great. And it doesn't track stuff you haven't seen, which is very reasonable. The whole point of the game is identifying your wands and using them in... <clears throat> in ways that you expect will likely lead to you discovering the effects. Um, but it doesn't track, for example, like, you shot this at a lizard and it didn't die, so this isn't lethal to lizards. There are websites out there you can go to to do this, to help you with this tracking. But that sounds just so fucking miserable. I don't, that's not a game anymore. I don't want to do that. Um, and... You know, the, the one and only design thing that I know 
is one of the things from the Dungeon Crawl design philosophy, which, of course, not every other game agrees with, but, you know, I kind of like it, is, you know, playing the game well and having fun should be aligned. You want those to be the same thing. And so for, like, identifying wands by shooting them at monsters and finding a way to line up monsters, that's fun, right? That's great. You want your players doing that. <clears throat> and you want to reward them with, you know, knowledge about the wands. But writing down the stuff all your wands can't be? Horrible. Miserable. I hate it. Um... And it, you also have to track, like... You know, the frogs always come out of this portal after some number of turns. You should count every turn you spend. There's no turn tracker. If there were, you would know, oh, how long is it going to be till there's the next frog, right? What would it hurt to have a counter saying, like, 19 turns till frog town or whatever, right? Um, like, right right next to the door. Put put a number, right? What's What's the big deal? How much could that hurt? It's not spoiling anything after the first game when players understand, like, oh yeah, frogs come out of there. Um, is there more you have to track? I mean, not really. There's some things I didn't understand. I, I never, like, came to fully understand. Like... <clears throat> I think I did eventually figure out that Odysseal Nall thing. I don't know which enemy it chooses. I guess it's random. At first I had this theory that it was some 45 degree angle thing, but it wasn't. Um, any of these effects I've never seen before, by the way? I can't mouse over them, but I can at least see if I recognize them. Oh, and did this, did this delete a treasure? Is that a thing? It looks like a crossed out artifact almost, doesn't it? I don't know. Hmm. Lethal the chickens. We were well equipped for the later game, I guess, if we had only known. But it also copies the chickens, so that's a little dangerous. Hmm. Anyway, I mean, I don't know. It's my own fault that I got greedy and like wasn't even thinking about the fact that it was greedy. Uh, but if there had just been like these little affordances telling me what's going on, you know, I wouldn't have had this problem and I'd play more skillfully. And I just resent this. This is the thing about tediously optimal design, right? Is players resent when they died because they didn't do something tedious. And in this case, the tedious thing was tracking turns to know whether I could survive this frog. And I resent it. So, like, in 868 Hack, I don't really remember a lot of stuff like that, right? Like, yes, there's the countdown timer of enemies spawning every turn, every end turns or whatever. But it's pretty short and not that impactful. Um, <clears throat> well, you don't often need to know the exact number. Because either you're fighting enemies, in which case, like, the new enemies who spawn are bad, but are not directly doing something. Then, like, knowing if it's one turn away or two turns away doesn't really matter. Or you're not fighting anyone, and then, like, the enemies who spawn don't matter. Like, and I think you can potentially figure out what the counter is, but I've never bothered, and it hasn't really hurt me. Um, you know, tracking Cryptogs... Is that tedious? Eh, a little, but it's also interesting. Like, trying to figure out what the enemies would have done and how many turns has it been. Like, yeah, I guess I've taken damage from not counting how long a combat has gone on. And then, th therefore, what a Cryptog would have done in that time. But that's a fairly, I don't know, it hasn't... The numbers are low enough, that, and yet I can usually tell when it's relevant that... Like, I, when it's important, I do it, and when it's not important, I don't do it. Anyway, just kind of mad about dying here and, you know, spewing some salty thoughts on the screen, I guess. 
fun game. I think that's the end of the series, though. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.